Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class. In this video, we'll be looking at area of similar shapes. So as we have discussed before, we've discussed similar shapes, the concept. So let's uh, look at how to find area of similar shapes. Don't forget that for shapes to be similar, for two shapes to be similar, the ratio of their corresponding size must be the same. What do I mean by that? We have this triangle here, and we have another triangle here. These two triangles. Before we can conclude that this triangle ABC corresponds to triangle XYZ, so the first condition is that the angles must be the same. If this is 20 degrees, we must have one of these angles here to be 20 degrees. Assuming this is 20 degrees, just an example. And if this is uh, 75 degrees, so we must have another angle here that will go at 75 degrees. So this is what, 75 degrees. Since two of the three angles here are the same with the two angles here, so we can conclude that the third angle will be the same. So which means these two triangles are equiangular, that they have the same angles. So the second condition that the ratio of corresponding sides must be the same. That is the ratio of this side to this side, corresponding side. The corresponding sides are this. AB corresponds to XY. Right? And it must be equal to the ratio of another side to so AC corresponds to what? XZ. Why also BC corresponds to what? YZ. So all these must be the same. So if this is, assuming this is 5 and this is what? 10. So which means the ratio of corresponding sides will be what? 5 divided by what? 10, which is what? 1 out of what? 2. Right. Now, good. Don't forget this is we are looking for area not the ratio but this ratio that we have determined here is also known as scale factor scale factor right and the same as well call it length factor length factor and in some textbook you call it linear factor linear ratio or linear factor right so any of these uh, means the same thing so in that case we need to look at how do we now find area of similar shapes so let's look at these two circles this is the radius of this one this is the radius of this one so the scale factor here so we are using the length of the radius so we'll be big r over what small r now let's now see the area factor this area factor the ratio of the area let's say the ratio of the area area the ratio of the area here would then be the area of this divided by the area of this so which is area of circle is of pi big r squared divided by the area of uh, the small circle which is of pi small r squared so if you look at this pi we cancel pi so we have r squared divided by what r small r squared so what you will notice here is that for us to get the ratio of the area the ratio of the areas so we're going to square the what the scale factor so that will lead us to in general so in general so the area the ratio of of the areas will then be equals to scale factor squared as you can see both of them are squared so that would mean scale factor, scale factor what? Everything will be what? Squared. 
So this is where I'm going. I just don't want to give you the formula to find the ratio of the areas. This is how we can use another example. We still get the same thing that we're going to square the scale factor to get the words, the area. So having said that, we now need to see how can we apply this. Example one. If the ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles is five, ratio five to four, find the ratio of their areas. So what we are given here is what? Scale factor. The scale factor, which will be what? Five divided by what? Four. So find the ratio of their area. Don't forget what we said there. So ratio of areas now will then be square 5 over 4 everything was squared that gives 25 divided by what 16 that means the ratio will be equals to ratio 25 to 16 that gives us the answer that is the first part we're going to look at so let's look at another example that will be quite different from this one example 2 the diameters of two similar circles are uh, 14 centimeters and uh, 7 centimeters. If the area of the bigger circle is 44 centimeters squared, find the area of the smaller circle. So in this case, the first thing we're going to do, we're given diameter 14 and uh, 7. So this will form our scale factor. So the first thing we write out our scale factor. Scale factor here is 14 divided by what? 7. So the 14 centimeters is representing the bigger circle. Why 7 centimeters is representing what? The smaller circle. This gives us 2 over what? 1. 2 divided by 1. That is 2. So let's leave it like this. Now, this scale factor, don't forget what we have here. If the area which means we must look for area, the ratio of what? Area, of their areas. So in that case, we need to find ratio of areas. Ratio of their areas. Of their what? Areas. So that gives us the square of this. Over there. That gives 4 over what? 1. So since this is area, that means find the area of the smaller circle so let the smaller circle the area of the smaller circle is equal to x so that means the bigger circle the area is given 44 divided by the area of the small circle that is x equal to the ratio of the area which is what 4 divided by what 1 so from here now, we cross multiply, we then have 4x equals to what? 44. Then we divide both sides by 4, by 4. Then x, 4 cancel, 4. x will then be equals to what? 11 centimeters squared. So which means, therefore, the area of the smaller circle, right, is... 11 centimeters squared so that is that on this so another thing i need to point out here is this since this area the ratio of the area that is area factor equals to scale factor squared so if you are given area you want to get what scale factor which means is the square root so which means scale factor is the square root of area factor i hope this is clear so that is that on this so we will move on to area of volume of similar shapes volume of similar shapes so in this as i've explained earlier on for the volume, what will happen is this. Let's have this shape. This is a cylinder, right? And let's have another cylinder.
right so we can make use of the height the height and the radius so this is the height and this is the height so which means ratio of corresponding size of these two similar shapes here should be when r r record corresponds to r small r it must be equal to h corresponds to what small h that is the rule we have explained this so for the volume let's now look at area volume this is scale factor scale factor here so our scale factor is this so let's now look at volume 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 factor or ratio of volume how will this look like so that means we're going to find the volume of this divided by the volume of this so volume of a cylinder is what pi r square what h divided by pi r square what small h so this pi cancel this pi right this pi cancel what this pi so we have the volume to be this but we cannot get this until we use let's have a let's use typical uh question so if this r here is six and this r here is three or let me use 16 here and then let me use um four here four right and let this h be 20 and this h here be 5 let this h be 5 right good so let's now apply that here so for the volume the radius which is 16 that is 16 times 16 times the height which is what 20 for the this one will be what 4 times 4 times 5 so let's add it 4 year 1 4 year 4 4 year 1 4 year 4 5 year 1 5 year 4 so that means we have 4 multiply by 4 multiply by 4 divided by 1 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 so that gives 4 cube divided by what 1 cube so when if you come to this place the radius which is 16 here divided by here this will give us 4 divided by 1 to 1 so the point here is that the scale factor is 4 divided by 1 while the volume factor is 4 cube divided by what one cube that means that in general ratio of volume ratio of what volume will always be equals to cube of the scale factor scale factor cube of the scale factor so that's how we derive this the cube of the scale factor let's now look at examples this is example one under this so if radius of a cone of volume 2970 centimeters cube is 30 centimeters find the volume of a similar cylinder of radius 40 centimeters so which means the volume we are looking for here must be bigger than this one because since the radius is 40 centimeters, the radius of the sun is what? 30 centimeters. So the first thing to do is to write out this, the ratio of their scale factor. So the scale factor here, scale factor here, will then be 30. We can use 30 divided by what? 40. So that gives what? 3 over what? 4. Now, since it is volume, don't forget, under volume, volume factor now volume factor will always be equal to cube of the scale factor. that will be 3 cube divided by what? 4 cube so this gives us 27 divided by what? 64 that is volume factors we've known that so we now come back to this place 
we have been given the area of the smaller one, the volume of the smaller one, rather, to be this. So, which means this, which is 27 divided by 64, will be equal to the volume of the smaller one, which is this one, 2,970, divided by the volume of the bigger one, of this one, which we don't know. So, we put what? X there or any letter to represent it. So, when we cross multiply, we have 27Y equals to 64 multiplied by 2,970. Then we divide both sides by what? 27. Divide both sides by 27. So, 27 cancel 27. So, we then look for a number that can divide. 3 can divide this one. That is 9. 3 here, 9. Remainder 2 in 27, 9. That is what? 0. 9 here, 1. 9 here, 11. That is one thing. So, that means we're going to have 164 multiplied by 100. Say so by 11, that is 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 0, 7. Then it has 0 at the back. That gives us 7,000 and what? 40. As you can see, that is bigger than the first one. So, that means the volume the volume the volume of of other similar um, of the cylinder of the cylinder is equal to seven thousand and forty centimeters or cube so that is that on that so that is the end of this uh, video we have looked at both uh, objectives which is area and area of similar shapes and volume of similar shapes so subsequently we'll look for more questions that are more tougher than the ones we have done in this video to solve so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and give me thumb up then help to share the videos to your family and friends thank you we we'll meet uh, next time